Going but do you early. think if we had gone earlier, we would be better off? Perhaps. Perhaps. Look, I had said on that same program that Ghana is a member of that institution. Right. And we've done business with on 17 good times. This is not the first time we are going to the island. Don't forget when we came into office, there was an IMF program on. We were just exiting. Yeah. We were not just exiting. We were not just exiting. When we came, we were not just exiting. We were left with the year to exit. You think you the year was. And you extended Yes. It. And we went through it. So the point is that we have done business with the IMF before. Okay? So going to the IMF is not a, a crime, so to speak. But what you make out of it is. Critical. Does this government if, feel bruised? Does, does, does the ego and the pride of this government feel bruised by the decision to go to the IMF? I wouldn't say so, except to say the assurance from the finance minister that we are not going to the IMF because most communicators or people in government will always take a cue from the finance minister. That was said in no time they were going to the IMF. That, for me, is problematic. But otherwise, doing business with the IMF is no matter to be done. What you get from the IMF and the, the kind of program you sign on to is most important. It's not about doing business with the IMF. The IMF has always been with us in this country. In terms of sharing data, in, share, in terms of information and all that, we've worked with them throughout. We've signed on to 17 different programs at different times in this country, and we all know that. So for me, that's not the subject matter. The subject matter is about how this process of recovery will get everybody on board to ensure that people really understand it. There are a lot of propaganda out there that if people don't get to understand it, people, there will be panic reaction to their investment and all that. Some people genuinely have money that will last the period that government is calling on them to keep their investment with them and all that. Of course, time value for money, especially the rate at which the CD was depreciating. And if you have one million CDs and you are going to get your money in five years, obviously by the time the five years come, and with the rate mm. that is being paid you, you lose the value of your money. Right. So these are concerns that people are genuinely sharing. Mm -hmm. And it's not limited to a certain group of people. All of us are caught up in this. Yeah. And we need to have the proper assurances and the proper understanding of the process. This is not politics. Mm -hmm. Economy, you can't do extreme uh, partisan politics with the economy. It will really expose the, the last so We don't believe that uh, this is something that government is pushing on the truth of anybody to punish anybody or otherwise. All of us are caught up in this. Therefore, when we demand the answers, it should come. And I think that organized labor should sit with government, the government should be prepared, especially the finance ministry, to give the necessary information. That's really the fears of the masses of this country. Right. That's the way.